60 second economics on why we aren't rational. Traditionally, we assume consumers are rational utility maximizers. But of course, in reality, people often fail to act in this way because of a range of behavioral economics factors. We'll look at three. First of all, bounded rationality. People have limited information and knowledge about the prices and quality of complex products. They don't have sufficient time to calculate the utility, for example, of every brand of toothpaste and shampoo. And the human brain is not a supercomputer. We struggle with calculating risk and probabilities. Loss aversion. This is where humans feel the pain of a loss twice as heavily as the pleasure of an equivalent gain. In rational choice thinking, losing £10 cancels out finding £10. But with loss aversion, losing £10 hurts more than finding £10 feels good. Good example are 30 day subscription trials. When the 30 days are up, cancelling the subscription now feels like a loss, a loss of service, rather than a gain of money. And finally, herd behaviour. We often copy the behaviour of others rather than making an independent rational calculation. For example, in the stock market, if everyone's buying Tesla shares, you tend to buy them too, assuming they must know something. I don't. And often, of course, this creates asset bubbles via irrational exuberance that eventually burst.